Hi guys, so I definitely forgot to film the intro, so we're just gonna get right into the palette review and then I'll show you looks at the end. Hope you enjoy, sorry about that. That one was really nice too. I definitely need to play more with the Hufflepuff and Gryffindor ones um, because these ones I didn't love the looks as much, but probably because I didn't do a full whole thing with them, I just did one eye just to show you guys how the shadows apply to my skin tone and how they apply in general and if they're any good and if you want to pick them up. So let's just go through everything all together so I can tell you guys my final, final thoughts. So I'm going to start with the Hufflepuff palette. It's the first one I use for an eye look. Here's the outer packaging here. Very, very cute. And it says dedication, patience, and loyalty. I love that. Inside we have nine shades you have that yellow you have how many shimmers one two three four shimmer shades five shimmer shades and four mattes so five shimmers four mattes in here pretty nice ratio no mirror you just have the model up there again dedication loyalty and patience or the um the qualities as well very very cute and i do like this one a lot i like this color scheme a lot um so there we go this one is 16 dollars all of them are and obviously this is inspired by Hufflepuff Puff House. Um, yeah, and so on the back here, it doesn't say anything about cruelty free or vegan or any of that thing, those things. So I can assume that maybe it's not. Let's go ahead and go in the next palette. This is the Gryffindor palette with the red packaging, the lion there. On the front, it says courage, determination, and bravery. Very, very cute. I love that. Inside the little sheet, I have determination, bravery, and courage is imprinted there again and in this one we have a more i would call this more of neutrals i was kind of a little disappointed with this color scheme for pretty much almost all of them i feel like they could have been more punchy and in your face and bright colors and not all of them have to be bright colors but just including maybe one in there that would have been a little bit more bright like this color is kind of like a reddish brown but i feel like they could have benefited from I mean, I guess that fits Gryffindor, though, but I don't know. It just feels like they just kind of dropped the ball with this collection. Um, I do like it. I like it um, enough, right? I'm glad I have it, but I just feel like it could have been done better. I don't know. As a Harry Potter fan, I just don't feel like this encompasses all of it. Like, none of them, really. Um, but I'll get to those, the ones that are my uh, favorite in a minute. Um, this one has one, two, three shimmers. So this one is has the least amount of shimmers. I think of all of them and it has one two three four five six mattes so three shimmers and six mattes and so that's what you get here again no cruelty free vegan none of that stuff is listed but you do have the ingredients and the description of it so this one's cute apparently i'm gryffindor that's what i did the test on the harry potter website it said i was gryffindor i need to retake it because that was a long time ago and i feel like i could probably be ravenclaw which is my next palette i'm talking about so here's the ravenclaw uh, palette it says right, so the ravenclaw palette has learning wit and wisdom on it and there's the raven on there it's super super cute love this outside packaging i noticed that they have different color and ball uh like reflective colors like these are more goldy and then this one is silver i think that's super cute open it up we have the um, little plastic sheet there and then we have wit wisdom and learning printed on there no mirrors in any of these so this one here has one two three four shimmers five mattes just like the hufflepuff palette super cute i like this color scheme a lot i think that those blues are super cute and then the gray i just again i feel like i don't know it just seems so muted and then these sh brownie sh um, mattes when i was blending some of them out um, it almost was like a grayish undertone or something. I don't know. The undertone was so weird. But this one, I got a really cute look out of it though, which I filmed with for a few videos. I actually really like this one, but I just feel like, again, I don't know if this is like the best representation of Ravenclaw or Harry Potter. I don't know. I mean, the names are super cute in all the palettes too. They have the different things for different things from Harry Potter, like Fang, uh... Hedwig, Ghost, Pixie, just cute little names um, in the palette. So I do like that. Let's look at the Gryffindor one. See some of that Chocolate Frog, Howler, that's cute, super cute, Mandrake. So I do like that they got creative with the naming and all of that and whatnot. And then for Hufflepuff, we have Gold Snitch. That's a cute name for that gold color right there. Um, Lumos. 
honest. See, it is, I do like it. I like that it's, obviously, I like that it's Harry Potter themed because I'm a Harry Potter fan. I love Harry Potter. I buy all kind of merch that has Harry Potter on it. I grew up with it. I just love it a lot. So, let's finish off with the Slytherin palette. This one also has, like, silver em um, embossing the print on there. And then this one says Ambition, Pride, Cunning. So, Slytherin there. I also feel like I could fit in Slytherin, too. Gryffindor, Slytherin, or Ravenclaw. Super cute. And then opening up, we have this color scheme. We have those greens. I really love that green um, matte right there. That one is really, really nice. We have a black in here, which is nice. Black Lake, Herb, Fluffy. Fluffy surprised me. When I was blending it out on the eye, I thought it was going to be a little bit more of that color that's in the pan. But it starts to get kind of like gray and really dark. This is That's what I'm saying. I don't know. It kind of... Um, I don't know if it's a true representation those colors i like that moon color right there that's pretty that's in the inner corner of my eye right now ivy and toad are two really nice shimmers this one's nice as well oh yeah i didn't use that one actually i used that one on the outer part just a little so this one i like a lot i think this is one of my favorite ones i love green i used to didn't like green eyeshadow but green is my favorite color though and i really do like that one again just ingredients on the back in a description of the palette does this represent slytherin i don't know you guys present harry potter well what do you think i went crazy of course and bought all of them they're 16 dollars a piece or you can get them in a vault i think that was like it was like a really good deal i think it was like 50 dollars or something on ulta that has sold out by the time i got on there and so i first bought actually this one the slytherin one and this one came first um and then I bought the other three when they got back in stock a couple days later. So that's how I have all of them. I wish I would have just got the bundle, but oh well, it was sold out. And I'm glad I do have them now. So I just spent $16 a piece for these. So I spent like $60 something dollars, but that's okay. I'm glad to have these. They're going to go right along with my Harry Potter addiction and Harry Potter stuff, merchandise. I also have, this is not part of the video, but I want to show these little... Um, single loose shadows that I have I got these from this brand called Shiro Cosmetics they're not I don't think they're in business anymore or they shut down or something but I got these that have Harry Potter little um, stickers on them and they represent some of the characters so this one is have a biscuit Potter um, and it's like this green loose shadow I barely ever use I, I never use loose shadows but it's Harry Potter, so I had to buy it because it has the professor on it. Love it. Then we have this one that's Harry. It's called The Boy Who Lived. And it's like a loose little grayish shimmery shade. Now, that's not to say I've never used these. I have used them, and they are really nice. But I just never really pick these up. Like, I never pick up loose shadows to wear. I just always pick up palettes. I even pick up my... ColourPop Super Shock shadows before I pick up these. They're just kind of messy, but I love this. That is Harry Potter. This one is called If You've Got Enough Nerve, and it's obviously got Hermione on there. Artwork is super cute. Different representation of them. And this one has Ron, and it's called That's Chess. Super cute. He's got a chicken wing in his hand, and it's kind of like a taupey shade. Love these. Love it. I love buying stuff that's kind of representing other uh things that i love and this one is a one i also got from the same brand it has a uh, aria from game of thrones on it nothing to do with this i just wanted to show it all right guys so now after all that rambling we're going to get into some quick looks from all three all four palettes these are just quick i've sped them up a little bit except for the slytherin palette i'm going to talk through that one so hope you enjoy so as you can see i sped up the video and i'm just going to talk over it really quickly and just um, let you guys know I took the uh, certain colors and blended them into the crease so this yellow shade um, Galleon and also the dark brown shade next to it called earth are going to go into my crease and then I'm going to deeper deepen out the outer corner and Use some of the shimmer. So that's basically what I did with this look um, I just wanted to show you guys that there is a bit of kickback as well in the pan there but it overall didn't have a lot of fallout which doesn't really matter to me I do my eyes first anyways, but I just take the yellow and the brown buff it in and then I'm going to use some of these shimmer shades as well. It's pretty easy to use. Not the most amazing formula ever at all. But pretty easy to use. Pretty nice. 
and as you can see you can get a really nice look by the end of this so I'll go ahead and let you guys watch Right, next is the Ravenclaw palette. This one is one of my other favorites. I really like this one and the Slytherin. I think the shadows in here are pretty much the best ones. This one and the Slytherin. So I'm starting with the fluffy brush and I'm going to go into this shade called Bark and I'm going to put that into the crease and just blend it and buff it out as per usual. And the shade is really nice. It did kind of go a bit gray on me though. Um, and it is one that's a little more neutral, but it, it definitely turned a little gray on me. And then I'm just dipping back in and getting some more product to blend out. Really easy to blend these colors out. Very easy to use. Formula is not one that's bad. Not the best formula in the world. No, it's not. But it is really good, though. And then I'm going into this shade in the middle called Pigwidgeon. Pigwidgeon? Widgeon? Oh my goodness, that is terrible. And I call myself a fan. Huh. But anyways, I'm putting that into the crease, blending it out, and just deepening out the crease, carving it out. Very, this look got pretty dark pretty quickly. Next, I'm taking this gray slate, dark, like dark gray slate shade called Fang, and I'm just popping that onto the outer corner. And then after this, I'm gonna take some shimmers. The shimmers in here are absolutely gorgeous, like beautiful. Um, and the ones I used, I used quite a few of them. We'll, we'll, we'll get to that. I'm just blending out and making sure everything's blended nicely. There's a little bit of kickback. I'm taking this white shade to kind of blend out and make sure everything is not like super harsh, which this is kind of a little pasty. You can also use shades like that, like even if you don't use those shades alone, you can use those shades to lighten shades in the palette. So never be afraid to mix shadows in together. Now we're gonna go in with this blue shade called Pixie. This shade is so gorgeous. I love blue eyeshadow, even though I don't wear it a lot um, as much as I want to. I think it's really nice and I'm taking that on the outer part of the lid not all the way out but sort of out and then towards the center and quite far over I'm just blending it out making sure there's no harsh edges cleaning off the brush going back in with this shade called Beau Baton this one is really nice it's kind of like a bluey silvery shade super pretty that's going into the inner part to sort of lighten up the inner part of the eye and it blended so well into those color those colors blended so well together and I just sort of blend it in between them very nice dipping in for a little bit more and now I'm just sort of carving out the lid with that and then I'm taking Hedwig and I'm putting that with some spray on it to heighten it up I'm putting that into the inner corner of the eye that is blinding. That is beautiful. All right, then we're going to go into the Gryffindor palette next. This one is cute. Not my favorite color story of all of them, even though I do love like reddy tones, brownish red tones and pinks, but it just kind of is just too muted for me. I love a little pop of color, but we're going to go in and we're going to go in with that whole open mind. So I'm taking a just matte shade to blend into the crease of course and I'm going to do similar to how I did the other looks 
so i won't go through and explain this one all the way i'll just let you guys look and see what i'm doing for this look I get to the last palette i also got this gloss and it's really nice i really really like it it reminds me of the color pop glosses they just came out with or these glosses i got from essence um and ulta they, these are really nice so i'll just show you guys what these look what it looks like on i only got the one gloss though all right guys so we have this palette last this is the slytherin palette so it looks like this very cool outer packaging and then inside we have nine shades so i'm gonna do the last look with this one um this one to me swatched the best so pretty cool my apparently my house is actually gryffindor but i feel like i could fit into like slytherin or ravenclaw as well um i need to retake the test actually but let's go ahead i'm gonna get started first with this shade fluffy into the crease i'm just going to blend that out and up so just using back and forth blending motions i'm blending it into the crease and then i'm going to just blend it pretty farish up not all the way up but definitely up okay. that went on pretty well so far it looks a little blotchy a little bit so I'm gonna just Blend, blend, blend. And I'm going to blend that out with a little bit of this shade Pebble, which is very light. Probably going to look ashy on me, but I'm going to use it to sort of just blend out the edge part. Just a little bit. And sort of highlight as well at the top here. Okay. Now that that's sorted... Let's go into start with the color. So I'm gonna clean my brush off. And this shade right here is really calling to me. It's called Herb. 
that's just such a pretty shade. I'm gonna dip into that. You guys can see there's quite a bit of kick up there. So that green I put into the crease, blend it out. That is a really pretty color. I think I'm gonna use it to blend out this other shade because I didn't expect it to be that dark when I was looking at it in the pan. I'm gonna just use that to buff out the other shade as well. Those edges, okay. Now I'm gonna take just a tiny bit of that black, black like this is the, is this the only palette with the black? I think, might be another one. And just gonna lightly deepen the outer corner a little at a time. Definitely not the blackest black that I have in my collection, but it'll do the job for sure. I think I'm gonna layer the green and the black together. Okay, so a little green, a little black. Back in with the black. Now back in with the green. Over the top of that. And that looks really, really good. Okay, so we have a deeper outer corner. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to lay down some of this lighter shade. It's kind of like a base of where I want to go for the shimmer. And sort of carve out there. Okay. Now I'm going to take some shimmer. Oh, there's a lot of cute shimmers here. So I think I'm going to go in with Ivy. That shade right there. Let's try to use as many shimmers as possible. I love shimmer. So I'm going to go in with Ivy. No. Let's go in with the deepest one first. Let's go in with Elm first on the outer corner. Just a little bit. We're not going to spray this one because we're just going to lightly put that on there and blend. And then we're going to go in with Toad next. And this one we are going to spray just to get that intensity and to lessen the fallout. We're going to put that right next to that darker shimmer and blend up not too far up okay and then we're gonna take I just dug my finger in Ivy we're gonna take that which we're also going to spray and we're gonna put that like all over the lid all over Gonna go over the toad shade just a little bit not all the way though and then just blend marry those two colors together that is so pretty that color is really gorgeous Ooh, I like that that's cute And we've got one more shimmer in here that I want to try out. This is the shade Moon. Let's see if we can put that in the center and in the inner corner. We're going to put tap it in the center here. Sort of like to highlight. And then we're going to tap it into the inner corner with some spray. Okay, that is the top part. Let's quickly do the lower lash line. I think I'm just going to smoke out this green shade. I love it. So pretty. I'm going to just smoke that out under on the lower lash line and call it a day.
right, that's pretty much it. I will come back in a second with everything else done. All right guys, here I am with the finished look from the Slytherin palette from Mad's Harry Potter Times Ulta collection. I love the way the eyeshadow came out. You guys can see up close. Very, very beautiful. I like this one, I think, probably the most. I'm about to keep trying them out, but this one I got probably one of my favorite eye looks. All right, so before this video ends, I wanted to show you guys some quick swatches. These are swatches I did to post on my new Instagram account, which you guys can follow. It is makeup and underscore movies. Again, that is makeup and underscore movies, where I am posting makeup, new releases, and swatches, as well as my own collection. So hopefully you guys will follow. So that's all this video I'm going to do today. Hopefully this is not too long. I don't know. I have to piece together all of these different videos. But tell me what your thoughts are on these down below. Also, check out my Instagram where I posted about these. You can check that out as well. I'll link it in the description box. But yeah, what do you guys think of these? Are you going to pick up any? If I had to recommend any of these, I would say the Slytherin, Slytherin one had some really nice shimmers and good mattes. These mattes in here I like a little bit more than any of the other ones, as well as the Ravenclaw one. This one has some really great mattes and shimmers. These two I need to play with a little bit more because I didn't do a full look with these. I just kind of did one eye with each of these just to show you guys. So I didn't really love the mattes in these. I don't know why. And it seems like it's the same formula for all of them. But I'll try these out a little bit more as well as these ones as well. And yeah, that's it guys. I will check you guys out later. Check out some other videos on my channel. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe so you can see more great content like this. And I will check you guys out in the next video. Be safe. Goodbye. Adios.